Hey guys, this is Kelly Powers with The Berean Perspective. This is going to be part three, question three of my top three things to share with the Jehovah's Witnesses when they come knocking at your door. What do you say when a Jehovah's Witness comes knocking at your door? You know, like I've shared in the first video um, about asking the question about is Jesus equal with God and walking them through John chapter 5 verses 18 through 23 where the Jews were accusing Jesus of being equal with God and they wanted to kill him and Jesus actually affirmed what they said and even went on to say that all judgment is his that everyone is to honor the son even just as they honor the father great text to share with the Jehovah Witness getting them to think about what they believe and then in the second video last one I really encourage this is a good one by the way it's what how does a person get eternal life and this is a really for Christians in general anybody really right to know about but Jehovah's Witnesses have been taught works and they've got to have a certain amount of knowledge do a bunch of Bible studies be loyal to the watch our Bible and track study do street witnessing and all that all these different factors and they're still not even sure after all this if they're gonna even have eternal life after they die and so what I share in the last video is 1st John chapter 5 which is a great text verses 11 through 13 where John actually writes you can know when you die, if you put your complete trust in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you are trusting in Him, you will have life everlasting. Check out that video as well, because it really talks about what the gospel message is. Today, we are on number three. That's right. Question three of Kelly's top three questions to share and ask Jehovah's Witnesses when they knock at your door and what to say. So today... I want to break it back down to Jesus Christ. Who is He? Now, as I mentioned before, Jehovah Witnesses believe that Jesus is a created God. He's lesser than God. He was at one some point, didn't exist. He's also known as Michael the Archangel and other things. So Jesus is, by, by, by watch our theology and the Jehovah Witnesses will not believe Jesus is God. And there's a verse that I've used over the years that's very effective. Very effective. Now, there's other verses you can use. You can use Colossians chapter 1. Verses 16 and 17, which says, For by him all things are created. But the problem with the New World Translation is they have the word other in brackets. And then apparently in their newest edition, they've actually even taken out the brackets where it has the word other. So it makes it look like it's actually the real, legit translation. But it's not, right? So one that they still haven't messed up yet, that's still true to the test of time, that you can still use to share the deity of Jesus Christ, that he is not created, he is not Michael the Archangel and all the other things is in John chapter 1. Now you may be thinking, tell me what you're thinking. You're thinking John chapter 1 verse 1, right? Well that is a good one to use, but that is not the one we're using today. Good try though. We're going to use John chapter 1 verse 3. John chapter 1 verse 3, it's a great text, right? And what this simple verse shows is that actually, in such a simplistic way, it shows that Jesus is not created. He could never be created. And in fact, He is the creator of all things. So when you're talking to Joe, when you ask him, say, hey, do you believe Jesus is the creator of all things? And something like that. And they're going to say, well, you know, He was used by God the Father to create all other things. But he himself, at some point in the past, is a created being, right? And so, this is peculiar because in John 1, 3, if this verse is right, even in the New World Translation, they have to submit to something that they've been taught differently by the Watchtower. Now again, when you're sharing this, share it in love, share it in grace, and share it in a question format where you're trying and pray. You're wanting to plant seeds so they may be able to see something they haven't seen before, hear something they may have not paid attention to before, and Lord willing, believe in their heart that Jesus Christ is in fact who the Bible teaches He is and not what the Watchtower has falsely taught them, right? So let's go to here. Well, let's just start in... Um, now, of course, this is newer translation. I'm going to start in verse 1. Now, their translation says a God, just to give the heads up, but in the Greek, that's different. But in the beginning was the Word... The word was with God, and the word was a God. Now, if you have a kingdom and a linear, this is a good verse to use. That's, I actually have a video, a few videos back. Check it out. 
what the watchtower does not want you to know from the kingdom of the linear, check it out. It's a good one. Verse 2. This one was in the beginning with God. Now look at verse 3. Verse 3 is the doozy. All things came into existence through Him. Who's the Him? The Word, back in verse 1 and 2. And in verse 14, the Word became flesh. And who is that? Who's that? That's right. Jesus. So verse 3. All things came into existence through Him. And apart from Him, let's just insert the words Jesus here, alright? Because we know what's going on. All things came into existence through Jesus. And apart from Jesus, not even one thing came into existence. Let's read it one more time. All things came into existence through Jesus. Apart from Jesus, not even, look at my finger, not even one thing came into existence existence all right top question for you out there theologians Bible scholars people who like to study Bible if not one thing came into existence without Jesus not one how did Jesus get created do, 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 do. what's that Jeopardy music right Jesus couldn't have been created not one thing without Jesus came into existence. That includes himself. That's everything of all creation because Genesis, Genesis 1 talks about all creation. John chapter 1 is talking about creation. Colossians 1 is talking about creation. Hebrews 1 talks about creation. Everything, all these verses talk about not one thing came into existence apart from who? That's right, Jesus. So therefore, Jesus is not a created angel known as Michael the Archangel. He is not a created God, as Joe witnesses like to teach. And therefore, he is eternally the creator along with the Father. Amen? So that's my top three things to share when you get the Jehovah Witnesses knocking at your door. What to say when the Jehovah Witnesses knock at your door. Hey, this is Kelly Powers of The Brilliant Perspective. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your encouragement and your support. Please like this video and this series, part one, two, and three. I hope you get all three and you share them with other people. Maybe do it at home with some friends, at church, wherever. I don't know. Get some popcorn, some pop, sit down, relax, have a good time. All right, this is Kelly Powers of Reading Perspective. May you know Jesus Christ personally. Trust in Him today. Believe in your heart that He's been raised from the dead. Call upon the name of the Lord. You shall be saved. Romans chapter 10, verses 9. Through 13. God bless.